Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are basically going to look at a 16th note independence exercise, which I have presented for you in a lot of versions. So we will do this in different parts, if you will. The first part is going to essentially include a melody in the right hand following a 16th note time feel and once you get a grip on the melody, you will then bring the left hand into the play to play four really nice sounding chords. Okay, so let's first break down the melody in the right hand. It's basically on the G minor scale, right? So that's G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. I'll play you the tune. Okay, so how do we count this? So how do we make it easy for us to count? The first thing is imagine this in a time feel or a grid of basically a 16th note division set where every beat is divided into four equal units, right? In some cases you divide it and you swing it. But in this exercise, we'll just try and do it in a very even kind of split. So how you're going to count it is 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a. So 1, 2, 3, 4 represents the beat numbers. e and an a uh represent the offbeat numbers. So 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e. E. Those are your e's. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and. Those are your ands or where you divide it exactly at the 50% mark. And then you have 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and a 2 so I've created this melody using 16th note beats or 16 note divisions and I've not played all the divisions. I've not played something like I'm not doing 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a 1e e and a 2 because that starts sounding very cluttered I guess and you have too much going on. So generally the logic behind playing groovy music or dividing the beat in general and then composing would be divide of course divide more but play less you don't want to overcrowd it once you divide it because you have so many possibilities right so divide more but play less that's basically the order of business for you all okay so coming back to the melody and how we can count it so i have a very handy shaker which i use very often so the shaker will basically play 1e e and a 2e e and a 3 basically i'm playing all the divisions with this i'd suggest that you pick up one something similar you even get it in an egg form which is quite cool that's called an egg shaker they say okay so you go 1e e and a 2e e and a 3 e and a 4e right keep that going and let me build the melody for you Right, slow that down. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and. Right, there are your hit points. Goes on. up to speed which for this composition I've set to about 96 BPM you can go anywhere between 90 and 100 beats per minute that'll be an awesome speed for the drill there we go Now we cannot leave an exercise unfinished with just the melody on the piano, right? Who does that? We need the left hand to come into the play and generate the pulse. So that's where this becomes a really nice independence exercise where I have four really awesome chords which I think you'll enjoy. And those chords are not played in such a fancy manner with all these offbeats. They're basically going to be at 
the down beat so that will be 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e and a and a 2e e and a 3 just at the on beats da 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 de ta da 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 de de da 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 ru de da da de 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 and the melody in the right hand so before you actually get the melody in the in the right hand I would suggest that you actually practice singing the melody with the left hand playing the simple chords. So what are the chords? You have G minor first chord. Ta da da da. I like this the I I like this suspended chord which I've added in here. F sus 4. So G minor F sus 4. What is F sus 4? F B flat C. So to da da do 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 those are the first two chords G minor F sus 4 and then it goes to la da da what is that it's a four note chord which i quite like it's an E flat major with an added C da 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 there's a C there okay that's your third chord la da 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 that's your d minor 7th which is dfa plus that minor 7c so let's go through the so- the chords again la da 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 that's g minor f sus 4 E flat major sixth, D minor seventh. Okay, and now our final mission: play the melody in the right hand and the chords in the left hand. So that'll go. Now you could play the chords in the left hand twice. That'll make it pulse-like. That'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or you can attack the left hand only at the ones and the threes of the bar, which will be. poses its own sound and its own challenge of course so you go with the pulse 1234121234121 and keep that shaker which we learned earlier sort of at the back of your head so you don't lose timing in the right hand yes you can always read this stuff and play or yes you can also do the math and see where the right hand and the left hand align with each other but that's not the most organic way to get this done you have to get it done with the pulse felt by the body and then the music comes along with that pulse having divided the beat into four units in this case in this lesson we are dividing the beat into four units so keep that shaker going in your mind right so keep that in your head with the chords you're going to keep time for sure like to do with my voice you know is just try to sing one note start with one note you don't have to do it in this weird howling falsetto of mine but you can do it just try one long note maybe the g or the sa of the scale you know just go with that la hold something with your voice See the problem there is now I'm singing something and then my melody gets disturbed a bit which is cool which is fine um it's nice to be a bit adventurous and explore a bit but you want to try and have some kind of consistency and also have a lot of fun and be really creative in this ecosystem okay so it goes to So I'm doing and so on 
and so forth. Now you could also use the hit points which I mentioned there. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and one e and a two e and a three. Right? You can use those hit points and build your own melody on your own scale on. any chord really i have just looked at this exercise as hopefully a template or a jump start into this process of counting and feeling 16th notes and th thereby also improving your piano hand independence so you can explore points and end on that g major chord which sounds a little bit cool i think at the end of the passage of music right guys so this was exercise 1 on how you can develop independence of your hands in all sorts of different ways in this case using a 16th note time feel the melody played in the right hand and very simple but beautiful and colorful chords played in the left hand so i am going to conclude this lesson by playing whatever i played really slow so you can follow it rather than having to keep rewinding and fast forwarding in youtube Let's watch and follow along and play along if you can. Let's let's get rolling. Hope you're going to practice this hard on the piano. Do let me know your thoughts, your comments, and as always, share the video, give it a like if possible, subscribe if you haven't already, etc., etc. And I will see you in the next part where we are going to explore hand independence and melodic versus harmonic and rhythmic independence and lot of other kinds of independence over the 16th note time feel in the future videos. Stay tuned.